fade in. A purple background each of the words in the title, Dork Diaries, appears in time with the upbeat music. Afterwards, Brianna the fairy godmother rides into frame on a magical pink unicorn and, with a wave of her wand, makes the words, Once Upon a Dork, appear underneath the title, making, opening title credit, Dork Diaries, Once Upon a Dork, Brianna flutters out of frame. Int. Princess Sugar Plum themed living room. Night. And then into frame. She settles down on the chair. A large book is placed beside her on the table, alongside some chocolate chip cookies, a glass of pink strawberry milk and a princess sugar plum doll. This is just like a Jackanory type scenario. Brianna hi. Brianna here. Every time I think of that girl I always sprinkle a little of my magic onto the whole of fairy tale land. You might be wondering, who is that girl? And why is there a place called fairy tale land? Brianna reaches out of frame and takes out a map of fairy tale land. Brianna contoured, as you know, this teen girl once appeared to stop evil forces from ruining our land forever. See that? Those are all the places you'd expect to find in a princess movie. Well, maybe this is a princess movie but look deeper. The girl's name is Nikki Maxwell, and she leads a cruddy life. Not only because of me, but because of other issues too. Brianna magics the map away and takes the book off the table. She blows the dust off it. She waves her hand in front of her face and begins to cough a little. She then clears her throat and says, Brianna today will be telling you the story of how Nikki ended up in this world and saved it for everyone. Opens the book, now, where do I begin? Dream transition to, int. Nikki's house, Nikki's bedroom. Morning. Nikki is asleep in her bed, with her pillow overhead and her unicorn sleep mask on. There is silence for a moment. Then Nikki shoots up in bed, awake at last. Nikki oh no, I'm going to be late for school. We have a montage of Nikki jumping out of bed, showering, drying her hair with a hairdryer, brushing her teeth and putting on her new green jumper and jeans, racing out of the bathroom cleaning her teeth and brushing her hair, putting on her shoes, packing her school bag and taking her coat downstairs. Int. Kitchen. Day. Later. Nikki sits at the table, feeling flustered. She breathes a sigh of relief. Brianna, Vo, you see, Nikki brought a trendy new jumper from Sweet 16, the fashion outlet at the mall, but I, uh, my little cousin has swiped her alarm clock again. Nikki growls in anger. Imagination sequence. EXT. Princess Sugar Plum Island. Day. A plane with Nikki as the pilot flies overhead and dumps Brianna on the island. Baby unicorns surround her. Brianna is relieved at first, but then she frowns knowing she has to be the baby unicorn pooper scooper. Brianna, though, she wished she'd fly her to Princess Sugar Plum Island where she would live with all the baby unicorns, and clear up the business. Int. Nikki's house, kitchen. Morning. Nikki jumps up in anger, with cartoon steam coming out of her ears. She yells, Nikki, angrily, Brianna. Did you take my clock again? If I'm late for school, it'll be your fault. Brianna, though, I didn't take your clock. Reveal Brianna, who skips into the kitchen and proudly shows Nikki Miss Penelope, her hand puppet. Nikki leans back in disgust. Nikki, uh, Brianna Miss Penelope did. She thinks you need all the beauty sleep you can get. To Miss Penelope, right, Miss Penelope, in a funny, Miss Piggy-like voice, yeah, sure, you need a morning's rest before your annual school run. In her normal voice, to Nikki, have you look in the mirror lately? Brianna sticks her tongue out at Nikki. She face bombs. Nikki Miss Penelope thinks I need beauty sleep. Sorry, Brianna, but Miss Penelope can't think. She doesn't have a brain. She's a hand puppet. Brianna she does too have a brain. She says she can go to pup.